Oh yeah, yeah, man. I was just telling him how, you know, you about to make time for God now, huh? Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. What's goody? What's up, YouTube? Y'all like this? <laughs> oh, man. Um, I hope y'all can hear me well. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to day 10 of 75 hard spiritual and physical. All right, now we're about to head to the gym. We're about to go work out with my buddy. Um, we're going to be going to Crunch Fitness. Um, that's my old gym, so I'm excited to go back. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to go work out with him. How y'all doing today, man? Y'all good? Y'all good? Y'all straight? Y'all good? Your day is good? Your night is good? Whenever you're watching this video, let me know in the comment section, man. Um, but, yeah, I am doing phenomenal, man. Um, my friends uh, took me out last night. I did not cheat on my diet. Mm -mm. I um, I was still good uh, for my birthday. Uh, so yeah, my birthday is in a couple days. Uh, he drove like an hour or two to come see me for my birthday. He was like, bro, I want to take you out. I want to enjoy your birthday. I want to celebrate your birthday. I'm like, I can't say no to that. And yeah, so, um, but yeah, every, other than that, everything else has been great, man. Um, I'm going to the gym a little bit early today, which is perfect. So that means I'll have more time to do other things. Because I do need to go grocery shopping. I have no groceries. Um, yeah, so. But the only downside about this gym, bro. Yo, it's like 25 minutes away from my house. I do not like this, man. I do not miss going to that gym. Because I have a gym that is literally 30 seconds away from my house. Like... 30 seconds away from my house so um but you know we'll make the sacrifice for my boy he was like you know what i drove a lot yesterday can you drive to the gym because he's a little bit closer to uh to crunch so we're gonna go work out with him and uh i think i might you know bring the mic and uh we can you know talk and stuff i don't know i don't know we'll see if he's comfortable with that i don't know if he's gonna be comfortable with that i don't want to make him uncomfortable you know um so yeah that's the plan for now we're gonna go work out and uh yeah and uh, we're gonna go grocery shopping for a little bit so i'm just hoping that i right now it's currently like 11 30. i really want to get home by like two like you know what i'm saying like 2 10 so i could have some time and edit some videos and like do other stuff so let's see how it goes um so yeah i'm excited y'all like i said on every video i'm really hoping you guys are enjoying this journey um it is not an easy journey um uh, if you plan on doing this uh 75 hard um you don't have it doesn't necessarily have to be spiritually just like 75 hard to just get your body right and your mental right yeah make sure you're really really ready you know what i'm saying because it's, it's it's challenging you're really gonna be challenging yourself you know um so it's definitely not an easy feat to do but so far man it's worth it man it's worth it i feel more disciplined i'm i'm still struggling i'm just struggling with waking up early man i don't know why i struggle so much with just waking up early like that's one thing i want to knock down like wake up at 7 30 8 o'clock every day but again i do i do work night shift so i do get home at like 11 you know what i'm saying Unless if I just, the moment I get home, shower and go to bed, that's the only way I could see me working. I think that's that's possible. That's possible to do. You know, bring all my meals to work so I don't have to eat late at night and then stay up so I so I, so I, so the food so could digest. Just bring my food all at work, eat everything all at work. When I get home, all I need to do is literally shower and go to bed. I think it's possible. You know, that's going to be the new routine. You know what I'm saying? We're going to aim to wake up at 8, 7, 30, 8 o'clock every morning. You know, because lately I've been waking up super late. I don't like that. I don't like that about that. I about myself. Uh, so, we're going to fix that for y'all. So, yeah. Um, that's the plan for now. Workout. We got shoulders today. And a little bit of abs. Um, I'm excited for that. Uh, so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this workout. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, y'all. going to start with some cardio. This is actually my favorite uh, form of cardio. I love doing the bike. I don't know if you guys know, for bodybuilding, I'm gonna be doing classic physique. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna need to show my legs and everything. So I like to make sure that my quads 
all right you know what i'm saying so this doing the bike it really helps your quad develop uh your quad conditioning you know what i'm saying uh that in the stairmaster too so um my coach having i haven't started the stairmaster i think the stairmaster starts like when i start going to the gym twice a day doing cardio early in the morning fasted stomach that's when i start doing uh, stairmasters but right now we're only doing 20 minute cardio every single day seven days a week so not too shabby but yeah i love this man love this bike it's really nice really cool so i'm still waiting on my friend i don't know where he's at uh he said he was like two minutes away so we'll see but yeah let's do it got three sets of 12 on these a lot of raises Let's do two extra. Yeah, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Couple more. That's uh, twelve. So we got uh, three sets of eight to twelve, eight to ten on this. I'm gonna test out the eighties, and then uh, we're probably gonna move up from here. See how it feels. It's a lot of protein. Ooh. Two. Oh, that's light work. Let's go. Easy money. Easy money. Come on. You on camera now. It's big time. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on. Keep going. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Push it. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two sets of 12 in this, chest supported flies, and then we're gonna superset it with uh, with trap raises for another three sets of 12. Oof. Slow it down, slow it down. Yeah. There we go. Hey, right, don't bring your elbows back too much. Just trap it up. Yep. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Let me feel that pinch right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So we are doing uh, rear delts, cable rear delts, fly for three, six, twelve. Slow and control. We're going to do side leaning lateral raises cable for. Two sets of 12. This is the last set right here. Nice. So uh, we just finished the workout. I'm finishing up my cardio right now. I got 10 more minutes on cardio. And then uh, we gonna head home. But yo, man, um, I guess I could do a quick, you know, Bible study. Not really, but I don't know. Um, I guess 
let's do it like a little t TED talk. So me and my buddy was working out and uh, my buddy, he was one of the guy that was he was one of my friends that really brought me closer to god in 2020 i was so lost y'all i was so lost and uh he sent me a couple videos to watch and i was watching those sermons that changed my life for forever man and i think that's the day that i rededicated my life to god the day that he sent me a video that really changed my life so um right now man uh, God was talking to me. He was telling me how I have to talk to him today after after our workout. I have to, you know, tell him that he needs to get back to God because something in me felt like my friend was really far away from God. And not just something, the Holy Spirit. Let's, let's give the Holy Spirit credit now. The Holy Spirit in me told me that my friend is really far from me. I need you to talk to him and let him know that he needs to come back to me. I was like, God, I don't really want to have that conversation right now. Not right now. He was like, please obey me. I was like, fine. And then after I work out, you know, I talked to him. I was like, bro, Holy Spirit telling me, man, that you are far from him. You need to get back to him. You need to make time for God, man. You need to start, start getting back into your word. And he told me that you're far from him. And the crazy thing is, told me like, yeah, bro, uh, God gave me a revelation today. And uh, cause uh, he was stressed a lot about you know careers and stuff, what he should pursue, pursue what he should pursue, and what he should do. Um, and then uh, he told he told me that God gave him a revelation today, you know, to stop chasing quick money and go back to school and get your master's and your MDA. I was like, yeah, bro. Um, that's what's up and it's crazy how God can literally use you to be that last voice that somebody needed to hear for them to really confirm that God is trying to talk to them and I just thought it was really crazy how you know everything literally worked together for the glory of God and for his good he got a revelation this morning and God wanted me to talk to him about making about him making time for God because he was not making time for him and that's why he was stressing that's why he was struggling that's why he had no direction with his career you know and so forth so I think it was pretty cool how God can use me as just a mere human being to you know to spread love to spread positivity and to uh, you know obey him even when I don't understand why he's telling me to obey him and I just you know I'm happy and my friend told me that you know he's gonna get back into his word he's gonna start making time for God I told him bro you don't even need to start crazy literally all you need 10 minutes a day give give God start giving God 10 minutes a day man Start your morning, first thing you do, give God the first 10, 15 minutes of your day, of your morning to him and praise him and take him. And bro, he's gonna direct you. He's gonna make your, your uh, he's gonna make your path straight. You know, Proverbs, Proverbs, three, uh, Proverbs uh, 3, verse five and six, I believe. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section. Um, so yeah. I, so yeah, so it, was, it was pretty cool, man. Yo, I'm out of breath, man. Just, uh, I'm doing the bike right now, so it's probably taking a toll on my legs right now. My legs are on fire, but I really hope you guys enjoy this workout, man. And I hope today was, uh, you know, um, was God speaking to you to tell you to obey Him and uh, you know listen to Him when He's trying to talk to you. And uh, God is so good, man. He's so sovereign. Uh, yeah, there He is. There's the man. There's the myth, the legend. <laughs> what you gonna do this weekend? This week? Just you just gonna eat? <laughs> yeah, he's hungry. He didn't eat before the workout, y'all. Biggest mistake. He does that all the time. Yep. All the time. It just makes the food taste better. The food tastes better? All the time. That's true. That's true. That's hey. true. I got my second meal. <laughs> oh, he ate, man. I was just telling him how, you know, you about to make time for God now, huh? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Because right. that, that's the man right there, y'all, that literally helped me get closer to God, man. I can't be selfish. Hold on, my hand's about to fall off. I want them to see you. I can't be selfish, y'all, and not let my man, when my man's struggling, yeah. and not talk to him about that. 
but that comes with obeying God because I didn't want to. <laughs> I was like, my man's straight. He good. He big dog. <laughs> but he had a revelation this morning, so it was meant to be. It was meant to be. Sure. So, you got anything else to say to the camera before you leave? Uh, make sure you eat. Make sure you eat. <laughs> eat your protein. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.